Hello and welcome. You're watching News Tonight with me, Vijay. And first up, some wonderful news from Nottingham. Of phenomenal fight back from India. India win the third test. Uh, and now the series is 2-1. James Anderson there. That's the last wicket going, falling to Aj Ashwin. Caught by Ajinkya Rahan in the slips. And uh, India wrapped up proceedings of the third test. It was a long wait for India last evening. Play was extended in the hope that India would get the wickets, but uh, they just could not get twice out the last wicket pair. And then Anish Sharma very happy that her husband Virat Kohli has led the team to victory. Well, an excellent dominant performance by and India. let's just look at the summary Sexy scorecard. The for the final. This is how the third test went at Brent Bridge in Nottingham, India. 329 and uh, England, that of course, Virat Kohli is 97, just missing out on a century. Anderson picked up three and England replied with 161. That Hardik Pandya on the right-hand side of the screen, 5 for 22, that was crucial. And then again, India, 352 for seven declared. Virat Kohli chipping with 103. Of course, there are some useful performances from Ajin Rahani as well there. And uh, Rashid picked up three wickets. But in the end, again, England, 317 chasing 521. It just seemed too much of a target to get. Just with Bumrah, five wickets for 83 runs. Butler was the lone man standing there with 106. And of course, the tail enders put up a little resistance. But in the end, India, easy victors by 203 runs. Well, I'm joined by my colleague Abhijit from the newsroom. Abhijit, we thought the match would be over yesterday, but then you and the rest of the country had to wait for another day. And, uh, well, did you almost give up uh, last night, supposing it had rained uh, this morning and India would, have been, uh, India would have been left high and dry, so to speak? Abhijit, any such fears that you harbored? At all, Michael, it was very much a, a clear indication that India will win the test match this time. It was just a matter of time. In fact, it, to, it took India just 10 minutes to wrap up things and stage a Virat comeback into the series. Well, the hero for India last, last evening was Jasprit Bumrah. The spell uh, with the second new ball was indeed fabulous one, picking up five wickets in the day. So that he indeed was the hero and what makes him a difficult component or a difficult proposition for the opposition is the way he bowls. Many feared that he might not succeed in test match cricket. But here it is. Here he is, Pfeiffer in South Africa at the start of the year, and now Pfeiffer in Nottingham. What else can one ask for? And one should also not forget that important contributions right from day one to day five, where from Ajinkya Rahane, from Cheteshwar Pujara, Virat Kohli, of course, everyone knows what a great batsman, what a, what a batsman he is. And given the form he is in, you can expect him to conquer many more milestones in the remaining two test matches, Michael. Yes, absolutely, uh, But did you really expect India to come back in the third test? They look so beaten and battered in the first two tests. Did you expect such a kind of a fight back, Abhijit? Uh, Michael, what I would like to say over here is in the first test match, we lost it by just 31 runs. Now, that is not a big margin at all. But just imagine, had India won the first test match, England would have been trailing the series, but right now, given the way we came back into the series, is absolutely commanding. Uh, you see the performances from both the batsmen and the bowlers in the test matches. Everyone chipped in, beat Hardik Pandya's 5-4, Virat Kohli 97 in the first innings, very crucial knock, and 103 in the second. Each and every day, India had a new hero, and that's what you require in order to win a test match. You can't win a test match on the basis of just one individual performances. You've got to back it up each and every day. Like great MS Dhoni once said, that the team that wins more sessions right through the test match eventually ends up winning the test match. And that's exactly what happened in Nottingham. Talking about England over here, one can't say that, uh, that they were complacent, but yes, few decisions which obviously went against them. Starting off with winning the toss and asking India to bat first. In hindsight, it was a good decision for India given the result of the test match. You can say the first day India batted, scored 307 runs. Now that's a lot of runs given England conditions. Credit should go to the batsmen because they were, they were uh, criticized a lot after their performances, especially in Lords. Losing the test match by an innings and 159 runs at Lords and coming back to win by 203 runs, just for the record, this is the second highest 
victory for India in terms of margin by runs. And the only the seventh win on England test soil that speaks of volumes and the character this team possesses under Virat Kohli. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Abhijit, let's just take a look at some of the uh, uh, innings. Virat Kohli, 103, 197 balls. Second innings uh, uh, contributions. 10 fours, a strike rate of 52.28. That was uh, very, that was crucial. The second century of the series. And, uh, well, Abhijit, uh, Kohli, of course, was uh, phenomenal. Just, uh, you just couldn't keep him down. But uh, a lot of people talked about Kohli and Anushka not being a good influence yeah, on Kohli, but Anushka is there, Kohli is there. He's, led, he's helped the team win one test. We have probably come back to the second. We'll, come, we'll probably uh, looking to draw level in the series. The good influence, finally, Anushka on Virat Kohli, Abhijit. Well, Michael, how things change and how the perception of the Indian fans change, I would like to take you back to 2015 World Cup, the semi-final against Australia in Sydney when Anushka Sharma was criticized for her presence at SCG and for Virat Kohli's failure. Turn the clock to 2018 and she is in Nottingham enjoying the cricket and India is winning under Virat Kohli. Absolutely change in fortunes. Uh, one needs to understand that you need to keep cricket and the personal life of the cricketers uh, separate. And on this occasion, Anushka's presence was indeed fruitful for Team India as she was seen enjoying as well as uh, celebrating Team India's victory as well. Yes, absolutely. She was there in the stand celebrating Team India's victory. Now, Abhijit just coming to Hardik Pandya. Phenomenal five-wicket haul. He was a uh, lot of criticism against him. They said that he needed to buck up. He needed to uh, uh, pull up his socks. But what a response in the first innings. Five wickets. And then, of course, we will speak about Abhijit. Uh, we will speak, speak about Bhamra. But Hardik Pandya, first innings. Well, for what? me... Yes. For me, Michael, Hardik Pandya's performance in the first innings was the difference between India winning and possibly drawing or losing the test match. Uh, you have posted a score in excess of 300 runs. Getting England out for 160-odd is a massive achievement. And the conditions favoured him, but as great couple they once said, that you even if the conditions are in your favour, you've got to make the most of it. And that's exactly what Hardik Pandya did. He didn't bowl a lot of overs, mind you. He bowled only six overs. But the important point was that he pitched it up and let the ball swung. That was the important factor. And in just six overs, he decided the fate of the test match. And in the second innings as well, he scored run a ball 52 runs. Now that's a massive, massive performance. And given in the context of the match, his confidence for the rest of the series will obviously will be on the upper side. And what a comeback by Bumrah. There are five wickets again in the second innings. Abhijit, well, he was injured. Uh, he wasn't expected to do well. And like you said yourself, uh, we didn't know whether he could adapt to test cricket. But what a turnaround for the young uh, bowler, Abhijit. Uh, Michael, the fast bowling unit, India's, this is the best fast bowling unit India has ever had. You have a bench strength. Bowlers who are sitting outside wanting to play for the country, but here comes a man. You always need an X factor to win in England. And that's exactly what Jasprit Bumrah provides. Well, if you see his action, his bowling action, that is unique. Yes, that is unique. But what is even more important is the way he pitched the ball. He pitched the ball right up there, let the ball do all the talking, and especially last night, third session, his bowling was top class. Not even a, in that one spell, he took four wickets and literally demolished England uh, batting lineup. The result was already decided then and there, but then somehow England managed to take it to day five, but in the end, the writing was always on the wall. Well, Abhijit, uh, India seems to be getting off to a late start in many series. Third test, somehow they finally wrap up, but after going down to the first two tests, or rather, uh, late starters, uh, what exactly is it about, uh, Abhijit? Starting so late, I suppose it's a four-test series, and then you're two, two tests down. It'll be a little late to make a comeback. But here, okay, you have the cushion of a five-test series. But coming back as late as the third test, does India take such a long time to get acclimatized? Uh, Michael, over the years, if you have followed Indian cricket, then Indians have always been slow starters. You take the case of India touring South Africa earlier in the year. The first test match was a 50-50 where South Africa just managed to win. Then India lost the series. And then by the time Johannesburg test came, India won the test match comprehensively on a tough wicket, mind you. And 
Nottingham is a venue where India has tasted success. As you can see, in 2007, under Rahul Dravid's captaincy, India conquered Nottingham. And 11 years later, Virat Kohli, the captain, led from the front and registered seventh win on England soil. Uh, coming back to your question of uh, being slow starters, yes, uh, our batsmen especially. What was the reason behind India's uh, failure in the first two test matches? It was very simple. The batsmen didn't produce enough runs. If you score 100, 100 odd and 150 at lots, no way you are going to win a test match, especially in England. Forget, forget in England, even in India, if you get out for 100, 150, uh, forget even winning a test match, you are always chasing the game. But then uh, come the, comes the third test match, Ravi Shastri, the head coach, said it very clearly that the batsman has to take the onus and score plenty of runs to give the batsman the cushion to bowl the opposition out. If you don't have enough runs, then you are as good as gone in the test match from day one itself. Uh, look, look where the difference lies over here. England, 160 all out in the first innings. Second innings, yes, they scored 320 odd, but that was largely due to Joss Butler and Ben Stokes, but that was always. Uh, but as, as I said, India was always the firm favorites to win 520 runs, 521 runs to win a test match. Forget that. No team has ever done that. And in a, even if England was playing in a home ground, uh, that was never going to happen. Absolutely, Abhijit. Thank you so much for joining us. And hopefully, uh, you won't have any more setbacks or heart attacks like the one India gave yesterday. Uh, in the series to come. Thank you, Abhijit, for joining us. Well, my, Abhijit was uh, my colleague Abhijit was a little worried last night. Uh, one more wicket to go. What if it rained this morning? But then uh, somehow India pulled it off. Just took them about three overs. And uh, these are some phenomenal victories. 2007 win in Nottingham on the left side of the screen. Rahul Dravid there. Uh, again, memorable victory there in uh, Nottingham. Again, 2018 win in Nottingham. And Joburg, Johannesburg earlier this year. So the Indian team there, well, late comebacks but this series somehow uh, it gives a feeling that india could just about cross that hurdle maybe a victory 3-2 maybe leaving it for the fifth test a closely fought fifth test that is a possibility just a short break now but more news and updates on the other side stay tuned